the Chinese have announced that they're going to go to the moon. In fact, they will probably beat the United States. The moon is fascinating and inspired us. It's a place of mystery, wonder, and endless speculation. But what if we told you that everything you've been taught about the moon's origins, its composition, and its true purpose might be completely wrong? In a stunning and new research, renowned physicist and futurist Dr. Mikio Kaku has made an extraordinary discovery about our celestial neighbor that will challenge the very foundations of our understanding. But what surprising revelations have Mikio Kaku uncovered this time around, and how does this challenge our traditional beliefs and knowledge about the moon? Join us as we embark on a mind-bending journey with Kaku about why the moon is not what you think it is and unravel hidden lunar wonders and astonishing discoveries that defy all expectations. It's fascinating to think about why we haven't returned to the moon since 1972. The Apollo 11 mission in 1969 was extraordinary when humans first landed there, but things have changed and advancements have made a lunar mission more feasible. A renowned scientist, Mikio Kaku, has recently shared his thoughts on efforts to recreate that historic feat. China has taken a noteworthy step by sending a robotic spacecraft to collect lunar samples. This development adds intrigue to the ongoing lunar exploration saga. Meanwhile, Mikio Kaku extended his congratulations to China for this remarkable achievement, emphasizing that they have now become the third country to accomplish this feat, following the United States and the Soviet Union. It's intriguing how they seem to be emulating the United States' footsteps while taking shortcuts to make impressive progress. What's even more fascinating is the perspective shared by Mikio Kaku, who believes that, although we may not have a traditional space race like in the past, it's still crucial to consider the military implications of space exploration. He wisely points out the potential sinister motives that could emerge as frequent visits to the moon become more common. In this regard, major powers such as Russia and China are actively developing hypersonic drones, which are rapidly becoming the preferred choice of weaponry. In Kaku's opinion, the moon itself doesn't hold significant military value since it takes only a few days to reach it. This realization sheds light on the deeper strategic aspects of space exploration and the potential military implications it may bring. However, the race for advanced weaponry on Earth, particularly the development of hypersonic drones, raises legitimate concerns. This is where the United States Space Force comes into the picture. Initially, some people may not have taken its establishment seriously, but upon closer examination, it becomes evident that it serves a crucial purpose. The U.S. controls over half of Earth's satellites, which are crucial for protecting our economy and communication systems. The Space Force safeguards these assets, recognizing the importance of space defense. However, it's important to avoid an uncontrolled arms race. Mikio Kaku also highlights covered U.S. moon exploration efforts. Now let's explore the role of private individuals in space. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, two visionary entrepreneurs, are likewise advancing space exploration. Musk aims to establish a multi-planet society, expanding human presence beyond Earth. Meanwhile, Bezos envisions Earth as a pristine park, moving heavy industries to space for a cleaner planet. Both embrace space's resources and potential. Differing views on space's future add intrigue. In 1969, we were able to send somebody to the moon. 1969. Mm. Um, then we had the, the space shuttle. The, the space shuttle could only take people to low Earth orbit. Mm. Then the space shuttle retired, and the United States could take no one to orbit. The, so that's the trend. The trend is like down to nothing contribution to our ever-expanding knowledge of lunar water. This newfound understanding holds remarkable significance for future explorations of the lunar surface. It enhances our comprehension of water reservoirs on celestial bodies devoid of an atmosphere within our solar system. This groundbreaking mission aims to search for the presence of ice, a vital resource that holds immense potential for future lunar activities. While concrete evidence of ice may take some time to unearth, Experts are aware that they're the foremost signs of the presence of water. However, previously, it was widely believed that water could only exist within the dark shadowed regions of the moon. Imagine the mighty Sophia aircraft soaring through the heavens, armed with its powerful infrared telescope. This incredible piece of technology allows scientists to peer into the vast expanse of the cosmos, free from the limitations imposed by Earth's atmosphere. 
With unrivaled clarity, they uncovered the secrets of the universe. Setting their sights on our celestial companion, the moon, these intrepid researchers trained their instruments on the magnificent Cladius Crater. This lunar marvel, the second largest visible from Earth, demands attention. With its grandeur spanning an impressive 231 kilometers wide and delving 3.5 kilometers deep, it stands as a testament to the moon's captivating geological past. And there, nestled within the boundaries of this colossal crater, their senses were seized by an astonishingly clear and undeniable presence of water molecules. This remarkable discovery adds yet another fragment to the intricate puzzle of lunar water distribution, expanding our understanding of the enigmatic nature of our moon. The presence of water in the Clavius Crater enhances our knowledge of the moon and opens doors to further exploration. Exciting revelations lie within the prestigious journal Nature Astronomy unveiling a captivating understanding of our lunar neighbor evolving right in front of us. Travel back in time to that breathtaking moment when the Apollo astronauts first stepped foot on the moon's surface. The moon was widely believed to be a barren wasteland with no signs of water. However, the rocks they brought back held a mysterious secret, hinting at the existence of water. Unfortunately, these groundbreaking findings were dismissed as contamination, dampening our thirst for knowledge. But now, a paradigm-shifting revelation has rekindled our curiosity. Water does, in fact, reside on our celestial neighbor. This astonishing revelation transforms our understanding of the moon's makeup and opens up exciting possibilities for future exploration. As the veil of mystery lifts, we focus on the discovery of a precious gem, a new lunar mineral that promises to reshape our lunar knowledge. These lunar samples obtained during the Chang'e 5 mission breathe new life into our understanding of the moon. They are like time capsules holding vital information about the origin and history of the moon and our planet. More powerful than our, than our civilization today, they could make large quantities of negative energy and perhaps go backwards in time and become masters of the universe. So you could create wormholes to go across the galaxy, and that go backwards would... in time, witness the Big Bang. That would then enable backwards lunar samples from the moon's surface. This momentous achievement by China places them in an exclusive group of nations alongside the United States and Russia as the third country to discover a lunar mineral. It is the first lunar mineral discovery in four decades, emphasizing the importance and potential of continued lunar exploration. In a world grappling with the challenges of climate change and energy demand, a remarkable solution emerges. Helium-3, a rare isotope found on the moon, holds the key to a clean energy revolution. With the power of helium-3 fusion, we can unlock vast amounts of clean energy without greenhouse gas emissions or radioactive. The prospect of finding helium-3 on the moon has ignited excitement, fueling visions of a future where this valuable resource could revolutionize our energy landscape in a clean and sustainable manner. Mikio Kaku believes that, unlike traditional nuclear processes, Helium-3 fusion offers a safer and cleaner energy source, generating minimal radiation and nuclear waste. This has sparked interest in using fusion as a more efficient and secure method of generating nuclear power. The potential of Helium-3 is staggering. Just 25 tons of this element, equivalent to the cargo capacity of a space shuttle, could power the entire United States for a year. With such immense energy potential, Helium-3 is estimated to have an economic value of approximately $3 billion per ton. The pursuit of harnessing Helium-3 has become a global race, attracting the attention of both private companies and countries with space agencies. The possibility of obtaining this resource from the moon has opened up new avenues for exploration, resource exploitation, and even space mining. As the quest for clean and sustainable energy intensifies, the allure of Helium-3 continues to grow driving innovation and shaping the future of energy production. The valuable discovery of helium-3 on the moon. So the universe is not made out of atoms. Every textbook is wrong. Every chemistry class is wrong. Your high school chemistry teacher was wrong in saying that everything's made out of atoms. We now know that most of the universe is made out of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter makes up 23% of the universe. Dark energy makes up 73%. According to Dr. Mikio Kaku, challenging traditional beliefs, China collected lunar samples and while the moon may not have military value, the military implications of space exploration should be considered. 
and the U.S. Space Force is crucial for protecting Earth's satellites and communication systems while avoiding uncontrolled arms. Water discovered on the moon's surface, sparking anticipation for future space exploration, with significant discoveries made through missions like Chang'e 5, but scarcity of findings may be due to long time gap between surface missions. Exciting upcoming missions include NASA's Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover in 2023. Water found in sunlit regions of the moon challenges assumptions, opening up new possibilities for missions and settlements. <laughs> This colossal impact crater, considered the moon's oldest, offers crucial insights into the moon's history and the broader solar system. Its unique geological composition unveils secrets about the moon's evolution, opening new doors to our understanding of celestial bodies. China is gearing up for its upcoming lunar mission, Chang'e 6, with its sights set on the mysterious South Pole Aiken Basin, located on the moon's far side. This ambitious mission will deploy an orbiter, lunar ascent vehicle, lander, and re-entry capsule, all working together to uncover the secrets of this unexplored territory in 2024. This enigmatic region of the moon is shrouded in darkness and boasts astonishingly deep craters. Pos the South Pole Aitken Basin is a massive impact crater located on the far side of the moon. It was created around 4 billion years ago when a massive asteroid, estimated to be around 200 kilometers in diameter, crystallization phenomena and potentially never before seen minerals. Venturing to the far side of the moon presents its fair share of engineering challenges including the absence of direct spacecraft communication. However, recent remarkable findings from the United States have encouraged our pursuit of knowledge. Subscribe for more space videos.